Okay, so this is the beginning of part two for Crystal Palace. And I was just uh, coming back in through the garden entrance and showing you the ballroom, which is massive. And it has a stage here, which is pretty cool. So you could have a band here and uh, get up parties and dances. Quite nice. And then, if you're thirsty, you can come in through here. And uh, we have a uh, place you can get a drink. Your favorite beverage. This is not a full functioning kitchen. It's just kind of like an um, outer bar area. And uh, this is the interconnecting hallway coming back through. This is the elevator, which we'll probably take at some point. This is the elevator room and another seating area which comes right off the ballroom and room for plenty and then this is another room which I have a better attempt at a Persian rug but it kinda came out a little bit better than the last one this one's a little bit bigger and then uh, you can hang out by the pool if you want to so we've kind of gone full circle. I think I probably rushed through a couple things, but you know, they told me to go faster, so I'm going faster. So let's, uh, we'll go up to the second floor, and then we'll hit the back area and the basement last. So these steps are all uh, lit up underneath, very dramatic. Might as well walk up them, right? And then um, what I'm kind of known for is these, um, these massive skylights on the house. You saw how many there were on the outside, but what this does is it allows nacho light to come in and it kind of illuminates the place a lot better. So this is kind of neat. It also looks really cool at night, so maybe we'll hit it. A uh, lot of big, big, big bedrooms. Um, walking through here, this is coming out to a big porch. and You can overlook the garage area. And uh, again, kind of an Art Deco themed bed, seating area over here, TV, big dresser, into the bathroom, which is quite elegant. No water in the tub here. This is uh, his and her sinks. And then what's cool is you can walk out here on the front balcony and see the horses bathing themselves in our, <laughs> in our expensive pond. <laughs> so coming back through. Oh, see, when I rush, I hit walls. I, but we'll keep going, moving on. So here we come down one of the main corridors on the second floor. This is a, uh, this could be anything. It's like a, this is kind of a child's hangout room, places they can do work, and a seating area. And here, this is a uh, interconnecting um, balcony, which will go on to see the other side. So this is the uh, green room. We call this kind of the creeper room. And this bed is looking nice. Some furniture. And then a very elegant bathroom here. We have two toilets, you know. And then a soaking tub. Some cool lighting. And we use the paneling in here to kind of give it a, a cool effect. Oh yeah, and then we have these kind of cool lights in the ceiling. So I may not be looking up as much as I uh, usually do. And then this is the balcony. Okay. So uh, what we'll do is we'll... Ooh, stars are coming out. Looks pretty. So let's go on. Uh, we'll see this in the dark a little bit. This actually is my favorite um, of... I wouldn't say maybe of all time, but this is definitely one of the coolest bedrooms. It just really came out well. The colors. It's just very bright cheery. This is a uh, canopy bed. And again, um, the beautiful moon. Oh, this is overlooking kind of an interior courtyard. Am I going quick enough for you guys? I have a feeling uh, you're getting jerked around. This is a cool piece with the uh, clock. And uh, we'll hop over the bed. This is the bathroom. It's a walk-through bathroom. Lots of room. This is the sink area. Nothing was spared. This is a, actually a really cool um, shower that you can sit here and hang out and look out. 
dry off and then a closet with shelves and of course you know some stuff you could put in there trunk stuff like that okay so that's that bedroom and you know what let's put a bed down now well, actually let's take a look so you can see how the uh, the hallway lights up it's very nice and then we're going to try to make it a little bit brighter here so let's put a bed down and we'll make it day so how y'all doing have you seen some cool stuff um, again I'm uh, I'm just a one-man show I like to uh, build the biggest houses I can myself without any help I design these things architect them lay them out build them and uh, we're going over to the other wing by the way we should have probably show you you know the overlook here so this is kinda cool and uh, the most important thing is I try to build them to scale so a lot of these um, tend to be you know to scale so this is uh, the elevator on the second floor and we'll start back here this is the creamsicle color flooring overlook just a cool little room and then we're gonna go into the blue room which is kinda neat it's got kind of this um, area that you walk into it's got um, really nice purple bed little balcony which overlooks the tennis court area and beyond and we keep it in the wall man I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a headache by the end of the time I'm done with this so this is our soaking tub huge you could probably fit two or three people in there it sounds like fun and then uh, our little sink area and a vanity and lots of flowers because this person oh, toilet wanted flowers so we make our way back and coming up is the library which is kinda neat I really like that two-story library I did in that one house um, this is not quite that but this is I think this really looks very elegant lots of books and uh, you can see this overlooks into the ballroom so it's kind of a second story overlook and uh, here we go more overlook I think you guys got the picture we have our table and our floating book creeper and then over here since this is the library this is the seating area for the library lots of um, these are more exclusive books again another balcony overlook and you can see Metmore Castle over there and if you haven't seen I have probably at least 30 other videos of really cool builds the Mentmore Castle is one of them I would definitely highly check that out We've got a little fireplace here this is where you can come read and be alone but you should definitely check this out over there the um, Mentmore Castle it's um, really cool build okay so let's take the elevator we'll go up first up to the um, third floor there's not much up here there's some trunks and some uh, chairs and stuff like that but uh, uh, this could have been anything up here but what I wanted to do is really have this opened up so you can see how I did this I could have built a wall where this railing is up to here to there but it really would have blocked it off and I just kinda wanted to leave it open and I think I had built enough blocks so we'll go back down we'll go down to the um, uh, is this the first floor no We'll go down to the first floor and we'll go back around to the basement and we're gonna go quick how's that I'll take you down the steps here and if you're a little confused it's it is a big place but I try to make the rooms bigger so there's not a million little teeny different rooms coming up on uh, the end of the second video here I'm, I'm, I'm hurrying as fast as I can I'll try to get it done in three this is the wine cellar so we have um, uh, the fire pit places to put your wine wine racks the wine tasting area 
it can be really you know this these people kind of just moved in down here so this is uh, kind of a newer place over here is the um, mechanical so you can see this kind of looks kind of like a real mechanical area and uh, and then over here is the um, this will be the last thing we probably see on this one this is whoop, I always have trouble getting in these things so back here is where they keep the gold and the jewels and uh, you know this is kind of like uh, well you can just peer in it's good enough you don't have to go in there diamonds emeralds rubies okay so this is the end of part two we're gonna go to part three here in a second see you soon ba -da -ba -ba.